Okay, hi everyone, how's it going? All right, so here we are, and this is a CD. <laughs> I have a bunch of these, I've never painted on them before. I don't know if you can, but um, let's see why not. I mean, paint on a lot of things, I'm just goofing around, doing a little testing before I do the bigger canvas with some colors. So I switched my pillow paint today and instead of using the Glidden Essentials, I use, I'm using the Premium. Um, this is gonna be hard to get off the surface. This has something to stick to, there you go. Um, yeah, so the semi-gloss white Glidden Premium. I'm hoping it'll help with cracking. I did not put GAC in it, and that's why this is a test. And I wanna test it on this little disc, on this round wood that I'm going to do after that, and then possibly a canvas. So yeah, just playing around, making stuff, testing stuff. And I don't exactly have like a big plan. Kind of thinking on this disc, maybe do kind of like what I do for tiles. Uh, that is the color art teal. I've got barely any of this golden magenta. But I'm gonna stick it in there anyway. Um, the Blue Bayou. Bayou. Pink Jasmine Color Art. Color Art Sunflower. Just a touch of that. Ginger peach. And a touch of red. I'm gonna use black cell reactor on this. And I'm gonna put it directly on the spatula. Check it out, what is it doing? <laughs> All right, I better get busy. I'm gonna see if I can swipe through that again and make it better because I don't like that spot. It's not really working, is it? A little bit better.
All right, let's see what happens. It's not even moving. <laughs> I'm not gonna waste paint because I don't like the design. Um, cause this is purely just a testing of, can I paint on these CDs? So I'm just gonna let it dry, see what happens. And then, you know, if it does work out, then I didn't even tape the back. So the back's gonna be all messy. So even if this was like the prettiest tile ever, <laughs> all right, check it out. I mean, it's not bad actually. When I look at it in the camera, it looks better than it does. Isn't that the case sometimes? Now, for this guy. I'm just gonna kinda, now the reason this is blue is for some reason my kills is blue. Um, it was something that I was using kills for and I decided to make it blue because I'm just weird. <laughs> Now, one thing I know about these guys is that edge, you want to flood it with paint. Um, Cause it, it will f fight rolling over and you don't want your paint to have that friction. Maybe I needed to use more color like actual more paint. Okay, so that's interesting. Oh, quick little tip. I know I'm real quiet when I'm focusing. It matters which side you put it on, which way you're gonna swipe. <laughs> yeah, so think about where you're gonna need it before you put the cell activator on there. Those blue cells, wow. some little designing on here.
That looks kind of cool. Let's see. Wow. Oh, I like that one so much better than the first one. Yay. Oh my gosh. I love it. I have to go fix this over here. But I love the negative space. It's kind of neat. Oh, I hope this dries right, man. I've been having such a struggle lately. Hoping it's just the pillow paint because that's an easy fix. Yeah, that is a winner. Love it. Yes. Love it. Love it. All right, I gotta make some cell reactor real quick. I just ordered a bunch of Amsterdam for my cell reactors. Just like a pack of, I don't know, 20 colors in the little tubes. So try out some different colors in the cell reactor family. Yes, I used black flow acrylic and Australian Floetrol together for a cell reactor. Let's see how it goes. Pretty sure that's what I just used. It's the only black I have right now. I'm gonna do kind of the same thing, I think. Um, going this way, I'm gonna do the same thing I've been doing on coasters and just pretend like this is a really big coaster. <laughs> Guys, don't laugh at me, I know, I'm weird. I can do small paintings and when I size up, you guys might have the same issue. Things all change. Everything changes. It doesn't work the same. So we're gonna give it a shot though. We're gonna keep trying. Okay. I love this kiwi and this jasmine together. Mm. I think for this one, I'm gonna bust out some of this Snapdragon purple color and color art. some reason I don't want to put orange next to that blue. Do red. Then orange. The 
this is kind of fun, you know, making like a bow. <laughs> Wrap it like a present. All right. Now this tool suddenly seems not big enough, doesn't it? Oh boy. So I'm going to go, what am I going to do first? I think I'm going to start here and go up. So I'm going to put the cell reactor on this side. Okay, okay, it's working out. All right. Whew. The fun begin. All right. <laughs> what to do? Don't lock up your brain trying to think too hard, okay? Just swirl, just. You guys can all make heart shapes. That's how you start. That's how I start. In a heart shape. It's like you're making a heart and then just kind of don't stop. Okay. Okay. Okay, if that takes care of the edges. Now there's something here, this needs some love. 
and through the middle. I don't want to get two bananas with it, but like right here, I feel like I could pull out a little bit of something here. Yeah, that looks pretty. All right, here we go for the spin. Holy cow, wow. <laughs> wow, wow. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Love the red. Really cool. And the negative space. Love to have a little negative space. I wonder if I have to spin it again because of the paint. I'm just going to spin it a little more because I'm concerned about it having too much on it. So, a little more spin. That is beautiful. I love it. It's a good day of swiping. <laughs> Okay, dry results, yay! Okay, so it worked. Um, no cracking. And let me see if I can get, my cups are still stuck to the tape. Um, hold on a second, let me get these things off. Okay, oh wow, look at the back. the bag it's stained from the pigments in the trip okay so there is a little bit of a problem right here where there that black I'm gonna fill that in I think maybe with the marker or something like that but there is not a single crack in this baby look at that let me see if I can show you that is how you want it right my plant, move over. <laughs> or do you like it like this? Which one? Anyway, really happy with this. And it, it's kind of cool because of the color blocking, um, you know, because I just did the heavy lines of color instead of swirling it around like you see everybody else do. Um, and so it gave it like yellow here and yellow there. And uh, it, it gave it color blocking. So. To me, that's just a little bit interesting. Okay, and so this one, this is the wood. We were testing it on different. Now I did put kills on this, but I don't think it was the kills. I think it was the pillow paint because Glidden Essentials is just a few bucks cheaper. And for whatever reason, it was cracked. I used to use it and it never cracked. I put GAC in it. And I put Gak in it this time. So anyway, I'm not using Glidden Essentials anymore for that reason. And I'm just gonna be using the, the Glidden Premium in semi-gloss. 
Not sure if that makes a difference. Look at this cute little guy, okay? I totally painted on a disc and it's fine. Like I could resin that if I wanted. Isn't that design cute? Fun, right? Um, even make like a CD. Look, there's a little bit of wet paint on the back where the cup was. Let that finish drying. Um, also, real quick, I have these cute little tiles that I made and I'm in love with this tile. Now, it's not been resined yet, but uh, that is a star. Wow, she's just showing off. That black cell reactor, this tile was the same colors with white cell activator. And it's kind of boring, okay? Exciting, boring. <laughs> So anyway, success with black cell activator. I can, I can now say that I'm gonna use it more often and all that good jazz. Also like the semi-gloss because this is shiny. So yeah, definitely go for the glossy one. Um, okay, so that's it. I'm not gonna resin these um, for probably a week or so. So I'm not gonna be able to show you what they look like resined. But um, these are all for sale. If anybody's interested, let me know. I'm going to update my Etsy shop one of these days. Okay. Talk to you guys later. Okay, bye.